Our next talk is a distinguished paper. Uh, it is Pond, CXL-based memory pooling systems for cloud platforms. Hui Chang Li is an assistant professor in computer science department at Virginia Tech. He earned his PhD from the University of Chicago and was a postdoc at CMU. His research interests are in operating systems, storage systems, memory systems, and systems architecture. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Very excited to be here to present our work, Pond, uh, CXL-based memory pooling system design for the cloud platforms. Uh, this is a joint work with many awesome um, people, largely from Microsoft. And uh, in case if you want to learn more about Microsoft perspectives, so we have Mark Q and you know, Dan Ernest here. So feel free to reach out to them. Cloud data centers host missed workloads running in virtual machines, and cloud providers need to guarantee good VM performance similar to on-premise data centers at competitive hardware cost. So DRAM is a key driver for both performance and cost. And the gold standard for VM memory allocation is that first, there is no new mass banning meaning that all the cores and the memory of a VM are from the same NUMA node. Second, memory is statically allocated and pinned to avoid memory management overhead at the cloud form um, level. Additionally, DRAM is also very costly. In Asia, about 50% of the server cost comes from DRAM. However, we face two memory efficiency problems. So memory stranding and untouched VM memory. Memory stranding happens when we run out of CPUs on the servers and there are still memory left, but unrentable to the users. As more and more CPU cores are scheduled, more memory gets stranded. So here we show the distribution of already snapshots of the amount of stranding in memory bucketed by the percentage of different CPU cores that are being used to run the VMs. The blue line shows the median uh, straining values. And we find that on average, 6% of memory is stranded at 75% CPU utilization, and it grows to over 10% under 85% utilization. Even worse, at the 95th percentile, so straining can even reach 25% during high utilization periods. The other problem is memory over-provisioning costs untouched memory. So users tend to over-provision the memory for their peak needs, thus a large fraction of the requested memory sit idle. And we observe that half of the VMs actually only touch about half of their allocated memory during their lifetime. A well-known approach to improve memory utilization is via memory pooling or disaggregation designs. So how does Sexile help you? Well, we believe that Sexile is a game changer toward practical memory pooling designs. Essentially, Sexile enables direct load and store access to DRAM connected to an external memory controller over PCIe. And Sexile also itself is built on top of PCI Gen 5 with customized link and protocol uh, transaction protocols, so that it can achieve lower latencies compared to microsecond level RDNA based disaggregation designs. However, when compared to local DRAM, CXL latency is still higher. So CXL adds additional latency similar to one NEMA hop which almost doubles the latency compared to local DRAM access. Also, CXL switches are slow and will potentially add more latencies, thus latency-sensitive workloads will potentially suffer more from uh, the additional CXL latencies. To better understand the performance impact of CXL memory, we studied 158 representative workloads in the cloud showing in the x-axis. And we try to compare the workload performance under CXL with the NUMA local settings and calculate the slowdown. 
we approximate the sex cell latency around 142 nanoseconds using a dedicated pneuma node with no physical cores. And the workload slowdowns are shown in the, red, uh, in the bars. We observe that a small fraction of the workloads actually are not sensitive to CXL latencies, and they do not even experience um, performance impacts. But around 60% of the workloads actually experience more than 5% slowdowns. And for latency sensitive workloads, they will experience much bigger performance impact under a higher CXL latency as shown by the red bars. So given this, the research question that we want to answer here is, how can we pull stranded and untouched memory via CXL for cost efficiency without sacrificing much of the performance of the VMs at a scale? Say we can try to control the performance overhead within 5% of the NUMA local VM uh, settings. The idea behind Pound is basically to predict the amount of VM memory that we can safely allocate from the memory pool while trying to satisfy the performance requirements via configures uh, QoS monitoring. To this end, we present Pound, a full stack software hardware co-designed memory pooling system. So in Pound, when VM request comes in, the VM scheduler will first talk to our ML system to identify the latency sensitive VMs and the likely amount of untouched memory they need. Then the scheduler will make a decision on VM placement and try to allocate the memory from the pool. After that, the, the scheduler talks to the hypervisor to provision the pooled memory as part of the guest operating system physical address space. Now in the background, Pound uses a monitoring pipeline to reconfigure the VM if it detects QoS violations under mispredictions. Overall, Pound contributions lie in the feasible external memory controller, system software, and distributed system layers to help us better manage the pool memory. And Pound can reduce the DRAM needs by 7% with a small pool design which can be directly translated into 3.5% reduction in cloud server costs. Now, in the rest of the talk, I'm gonna briefly go through some key design aspects of Font and then share some evaluation results and then conclude. Now, first, let's try to look at the pooling scope. So we start with a straw man analysis to decide the effectiveness of pooling. So here, we try to allocate a fixed portion of the VM memory and allocate them from, from the pool. And we try to measure the overall DRAM savings over different pool sizes shown in the X axis. We have three lines here representing 10, 30, and 50% of memory being fixed in the pools and Y shows the overall DRAM needs. So we can see that the memory requirement is actually going down because we average the peak requirement here. And more importantly, we find that even with a small pool of eight to 16 sockets, they are actually quite effective for DRAM savings. A larger pool would be giving us diminishing returns due to the increased cost and latency by using switches. Second, we try to provision the pool memory to the VMs with minimal performance impact. So Pound exposes the pool memory as a zero core NUMA or Z NUMA to the VM address space. Latency sensitive VMs will get a virtual NUMA node large enough to cover the workload's memory footprint. And Z NUMA node will hold the VM's remaining memory using the CXL pool memory. Under correct direction, um, predictions of the untouched memory, so there should be no spilling um, to the Z NUMA, so that's because we try to leverage the existing operating system memory management schemes to prefer the use of local DRAM. In terms of memory allocation for the VMs, so we try to use prediction models based on the different allocation schemes for the VMs. So for latency insensitive VMs, their memory can be directly allocated entirely from the pool without any performance impact. And for latency sensitive VMs, it's predicted to have zero untouched memory 
and then we allocate the VM entirely using local DRAM. Otherwise, we use Zenuma to back the VM memory and try to size the pool DRAM size to be equal to the amount of predicted untouched memory. Now, our latency sensitive model consumes CPU performance counters and some other low level telemetry data as the input and the slowdown of the pool memory relative to NUMA local case are used as the labels during offline testing phase. So given the per core hardware counters and the slowdown numbers, we use a decision tree based supervised learning model for latency sensitive prediction. So we're not using chat uh, It's similar here, similar here for, for the untouched memory prediction but here the prediction target is to try to predict the amount of untouched memory that we need to allocate for the numa cases. And the result is in terms of the number of gigabytes we want to allocate from the pool. When misprediction happens, so it might affect performance QoS. So for this case, especially for Xenuma VMs, the so pound will monitor if it over predicts the amount of untouched memory during the scheduling phase. And for pool baked uh, VMs and the NUMA VMs with less uh, untouched memory than predicted, well, then we use the sensitivity model to determine whether the VM uh, workload is suffering from excessive performance loss or not. If so, we will, um, the QoS monitor will initiate a v live VM migration process to reconfigure the VM to use all the local memory. Now here we try to evaluate the effectiveness of Xenuma first. So we run a few workloads and try to monitor the amount of traffic that is going to our Xenuma node. And as you can see here, the amount of traffic is very, very low as expected. It's also matching the access bit scanning results where we see almost no memory access on the top half of the address space. So this shows that Xenuma is effective under correct predictions. For end to end, for prediction model accuracy, we try to uh, we predict, we've deployed our model in production for a few months and try to monitor um, the required DRAM needs and the um, missed predictions. So it turns out that found prediction models can identify twenty five percent of the untouched memory, while only over predicting four percent of the VMs. In terms of end to end memory savings. We evaluate pound uh, savings under multiple scenarios, say by defining 5% of performance slowdown targets for 98% of the VMs. And at a pool size of 16 or eight sockets, so pound is able to reduce the overall DRAM requirement by seven to 9%. While a static allocation approach shown in the gray line only reduces the DRAM uh, re requirement by 3%. Okay, due to time constraints, um, there are more details in the cover that I cannot cover here. So feel free to read our paper. In summary, Pond is a software hardware co-designed memory pooling system design that builds on top of directly attached SXL with a feasible hardware implementation. Pond can help us achieve close to NUMA local DRAM performance and save seven to 9% of DRAM savings by pulling about 25% of untouched memory using CXR memory pool. We also open source to the pound CXR emulation too. Feel free to try it out. With that, I will conclude this talk. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm happy to take questions.